Yes? Me? Yeah, what's your name again? My name is Austin. Austin, good name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm a big Finny fan. Oh, yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yes. And um, I was wondering why you came up with the voice. You know, that was... That was a collaboration with, with Ian Sinclair, and um, like, it, it took some doing. We had to redo some stuff in the very beginning. Um, initially, he was even uh, higher pitched than he is currently, and it became difficult to sustain, and then he and I kind of had a meeting, and then went back and redid him at a, at, at a pitch that I could sustain. Um, but it seemed, given his unique combination of, uh, of, you know, characteristics that, that it warranted that sort of voice. Um, it fits. So. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And it's not, it's, it's, it's similar to the Japanese actors. Yes, it is. Uh, and that's another part that we try to pull in. Okay. Like, you always get an opportunity to hear what the say you did before you read up something. Okay. And, you know, usually... <coughs> They've got an insight into it, and it's helpful. Sometimes you're like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Right. But usually, you're, you know, it helps you. Okay, because I was just wondering, that's pretty high. Yeah, no, it's high. And then you hear, this is my, I'm not putting this on. Yeah, yeah. So This is the way I really sound. Actually, so. I think it's a good job, though. Thank you so much. Yeah. Y yes? Uh, yes, when you first started off with your career, how did you manage to get your foot in the door? Uh, with voice acting, oh, yes. specifically, mm -hmm. um, that is, it was an odd circumstance. I, uh, see Matt, Matt Von Dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Woo! He's my handler, my helper. Um, I had heard that ADV had a studio in Austin called Monster Island Studios, but I had not had any work there yet, and found myself at a birthday party at a local bar called Club DeVille, which is now Cheer Up Charlie's on Red River, um, and got a little intoxicated at this particular party, and was standing at the bar next to a gentleman named Wal Bartholomew, who um, was one of the directors at Monster Island at the time, and he apparently was not happy with the lead in Get Backers, the guy who was playing Bond, and he and I were talking for a while, and at some point in the conversation he said, you know, you got a pretty good voice. Why don't you come in and, and try and give this a shot? And he basically let me try one episode. And then immediately after that episode, we started working on the next one, and the next one, and the next one. <laughs> so, so it worked out. Um, and then it's only snowballed from there. So the answer is I got lucky. And I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. What's uh, your name? Dylan. Dylan. Of all the roles that you take in, uh, were there any where you thought you uh, could have, like, you wish you could have done something differently, or you could have done something differently? I'd say yes, uh, but not necessarily in the realm of voice acting. Um, there are individual, like, specific occurrences within an episode, a line or two, that maybe I didn't agree totally with the way that the director ended up asking that I do it. A lot of times, you know, I put something out there and they like it and it stays. But sometimes the director's got something in his head, and, or her head, and, and they want you to change it. And, you know, I always say, like, I don't care, you can give me a line reading, which is them saying it how they'd like me to intonate that particular, or, or uh, you know, specifically exactly how they'd like it to be said. I don't have a problem with that, but if I'm close to the character, sometimes I have more of a problem than I'm willing to let on. Um, but there's not one that, that sticks in my craw that I can remember. Now, on film, you know, sometimes I'll see something and be like, ah, man, I should have followed this other impulse. Because you can see it, you know? Um, I also don't often get a chance to re-watch what I've done in the realm of voice acting. Um, it's, you know, it's a, it's a time thing, honestly. Like, if I really, really dig a project like Dark and the Black, I'll make a point of, of watching everything. But, you know, that doesn't always happen. Anybody else? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, of all the roles you've voiced, which one kind of took the most out of you that put you in a kind of uncomfortable that you had to really... Um, that would be, I, well, physically or emotionally? 
Vocally. Vocally. Vocally would be Bane from DC Universe. Um, that, I couldn't talk for two days after that, that first session. <laughs> and that session was only about 30 minutes long. And I mean, I'm a person that could go for eight hours straight. That, that destroyed me. I mean, it's way deeper than my natural speaking voice, for one thing, and it's, it's not pitched. Um, and it's also way raspier. Um, I don't know if any of you have played that game or heard that bang, but that bang does not sound like this. Um, and they didn't pitch that. So, yeah, that, that destroyed me. Like, literally, I could taste blood in the back of my throat. <laughs> yes, sir. George. Was there a particular, was there ever a particular shit? Say she's performing so like really, really intending. He was like, "Yeah, there's no way I'm, I'm gonna get anywhere near this." And you started out. You're talking about when I hear the the Japanese performance. Yeah, was there any particular one that was such a high bar that you're like, "Okay, how am I gonna get there?" I don't think so, George. <laughs> um, occasionally, <clears throat> especially in reacts, uh, it doesn't necessarily translate in my opinion, to, to our is true. culture. So, like I said, I'll hear what he does, and then I'm like, ah, that's not going to work. And, and I do what I think is the natural, what my natural impulse would be for that moment, for that feeling. Okay, well, um, is there one that was particularly awesome in your, in your own mind? Uh, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I think the guy who voiced Hay was pretty awesome. <laughs> um, and also uh, Takazawa, like again, that's not the same guy, is it? Anybody know? I think it might actually be. He's good. <laughs> I know you've voiced a lot of characters that had the same say you. Yes, yes, so. that's true. I'm not sure if those two are the same. I think they I might don't, be. I think they might be actually. Anyway. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, the difference is, there, there are several uh, main differences. Uh, the first one being that typically when you're in a video game, you don't have to match flaps. So it's, uh, at least in the case of Borderlands, um, if they're going to see me, it's going to be pre-lay. Like basically they're going to have the voice, they're going to have the vocalization before they actually have the, or if they don't see the mouth, you know, it doesn't matter necessarily. Um, but in anime, obviously, you have to put your words in their mouths. So that's, for me, that's been the predominant. Yes? Um, this is kind of a random question, but... Oh, I like this. <laughs> um, I'm just curious because I've done a fair bit of community theater myself, and I'm really interested in acting in general and just, like, the craft of it. But, like, one thing that I've always found interesting is a lot of times in anime you'll have like really cartoony style acting and then there's also the ones that have really realistic acting and I was wondering like how would you portray a character who was like I don't know sick like I don't know what I'm trying to say exactly but like realistically how would you do it like if it weren't cartoony and your character had a cold or something, how would you make your voice sound for that? And how would you do, like, the symptomatic I mean, you just, stuff? You just alter the way that you're breathing, honestly. And, you know, like, you stop using your nose. Yeah. I mean, you kind of just make yourself, <laughs> you know, it's just, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know that I know specifically, just because I've, I've, I've been an actor since I was a kid. Right. And I've done this for you know, a long, long time right. since I'm so freaking old. Um, <laughs> and I think a lot of it is, is you know, unconscious. You just, like, right. it just happens. Mm -hmm. um, and I, the cartoony stuff, I know this wasn't necessarily part of your question, but mm. that's dictated by the original performance right. and, and the property itself. Um, mm -hmm. Usually when that's in something, either it, it's realistic and then it deviates and mm -hmm. goes to that style. Right. Or the whole thing is that style. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and when the animation style changes dramatically and the Seiyu's interpretation changes dramatically, you have to follow. Make sense? Mm hmm That's cool. Yes. What's your name? Um, 
Jessica. Jessica. What's your question, Jessica? When you did Rob Lucci in One Piece, yeah. were you more of the bird on his shoulder or the actual character himself? I was more that, the actual character. <coughs> Sometimes you don't. Like, cool. <laughs> I was the bird, too. But, uh, yeah, no, the, there wasn't much to, uh, I mean, I did have to communicate certain things with the bird, but uh, <laughs> that was a pretty silly part of it, for sure. I mean, we had fun with that. Um, and honestly, I didn't deviate much from what the Japanese dude did in that particular instance. Um, but yeah, there wasn't much for me to hold on to with the bird. Lucy definitely had more of an arc. Yes? Yes, um, when you were doing work with Funimation, did you get acquainted with some of the other voice actors as well? Yes. Really? Like Monica Rial, for instance? Yeah, she's a good friend. <laughs> uh, Monica and Rena, they're both good friends of mine. Ian, you know, good friends. Uh, Tatum, him as well. Um, I don't know everybody, but, but yeah, you know, we've been, we've been working together for a while, and you, you know, you run into people, and you end up having lunch, and socializing, and drinks after work, that sort of thing. Yes? If you had the voice of anyone who would keep <coughs> you Oh. Hmm. No, not Sean Connery. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good question. You know what? Can I can I think about that for a little while? Because uh, I think I might actually want a couple of different voices. I want a singing voice and um, and a speaking voice. Hmm. Yeah, there, there's too many answers right now. I'm I'm gonna think about that one. What's your name? Elena. Elena. I'm gonna think about that and remind me later. Because I think we've only got. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Yeah, we got 15 minutes. Thank you. What time did we stop? I was late. 2.30. 2.40. Yes, All right. How much fun was it to be a drum sniper in Oh, uh, that was awesome. That's one of my favorite things I've ever done. Very, very fun. I wish I could shoot like that. I mean, I could shoot like that in the game. But, uh, yeah, that dude could shoot. I mean, and that loaded, too, right? I mean, hey. yeah, you, you next to him. How was that worried about one wing? Oh, man, that sucked. I don't like losing pets. I don't like losing pets. Right, Austin? Right. It's no good. I wanted to hug Finny, but no way. Yes. Yeah. But like, really, really bad. Like, and his backstory? Oh, God. His backstory yeah, was horrible. Yeah, don't, 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 let's not take it down this road again. <laughs> no more emotion today. Today's a happy day. Do <laughs> like. Yes. Are you Link? Yes. Okay. What, what, what would you like to know, Link? Minor anime Italia, but I noticed that you Mine. I do. I'm in Italian. You are? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm some smaller countries. Uh, <laughs> I'm Iceland. <laughs> see, <what? laughs> Let me see you realize that. I'm yeah. sorry, I'm like I'm a fan of the micronations and all the other minor characters, so I'm like And I think I'm something else too, but I can't <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, sometimes I have to go and, like, today I read my own bio. I'm like, <laughs> okay, yeah, those, I, but those are the main ones. What do I like? Yes? Um, out of everything you've ever done, do you have a favorite line? <coughs> oh. <laughs> 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 